so the process um, I follow, I've developed over uh, a few years. So what I, I, I like to do is I like to paint on, on plywood. So this is plywood board. Um, and the reason for that really is purely economical because plywood is, is cheap, whereas canvas is actually quite expensive to buy. So painting this big, it's much more uh, economical to use plywood. So I'll take the plywood and then I use a, a fairly uh, rough kind of putty, a bit like polyfiller, and I put that all over the, um, the, uh, the board and it creates a nice kind of rough textured finish uh, on the board. And then I will apply a wash. So you can see this, this gray here is, um, it's a, 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 it's called Payne's gray, which is a type of gray, just a, an acrylic wash. And what that gives me is a, a surface where I can paint. I can see, for example, where I'm painting white. Um, it allows me to kind of have a mid-tone gray for the faces and things. So it just adds, it gives you a little bit more color. It gives you a little bit more interest into uh, the face. It allows me to kind of miss out colors in some ways and just use the background. So on this t-shirt here, the white is white, but the gray is actually the background. And it, it just gives it a little bit more of interest. And the reason I use the texture is because when you're painting or using charcoal, it just gives the line a little bit of a different quality, you know, a little bit of uh, a little bit of something. So it's just not always so, uh, I don't know, bland in many ways. What I like to try and get is when you look into a, the picture, you know, there's always something interesting. 